Hello everyone, welcome in this vocabulary game review. My name is Khansa Maouya and my game I'm going to review called IELTS Vocabulary. And as a game in which develops vocabulary for learners, I share with you my thoughts in the description for this game and show you all the useful information you can get from it. The app is not that complicated. It's actually easy. It will help you learn IELTS vocabulary with play by pictures and it's the best way to learn and remember English vocabulary. If you are looking for an app to learn IELTS vocabulary, this app is in a free one to help you learn words with play by pictures and listening to the word. I made a plan to play the game for 15 days and I have chose two lessons to play in one day, it's more easy and organized way to learn new words and not to forget them. Each lesson I choose to play for a specific day, I have to learn first its word and know its definition. Then I play the games. I will explain more about the game description and how it works in the next slide. When you open the game, you will find lots of different lessons. There are about 50 lessons and you are free to choose any lesson you like or interested in, just by clicking on it. Let's take City Life for example. You will see here 6 different games and the vocabulary section. Before you play any game, you have to choose the vocabulary section. The vocabulary section will help you to learn the new words and to be able to play the games. So if you click on vocabulary, Commuter. you will hear the word and you know its picture plus the definition of this word. And here you can switch to write for a new word Congestion. and so on. Now if uh, when you learn all the words for this uh, lesson, you can play the games. I will explain more in the next video and how I played it uh, so you can get the idea.
I evaluated the game based on this rubric. So the interest, I give it 7 out of 10. Uh, it was okay. Game idea or the concept or the theme. It was okay. Not that boring or terrific. What age range do you think this game is suitable for? Around 16 and 25. It's not that suitable for kids. It's not that fun. Game complexity, very simple. Game instructions, very simple as well. Is it useful to use it in English language learning and teaching? Yes. Is it fun? Yes, but not that fun. I highly recommend it to teachers and the students. Teachers who teach English language can use this game to get the students' attention and to make the lesson more easy and fun. And the students as well will find it beneficial that they can practice the vocabulary words by playing different kinds of games. What I have learned from this app, some new words as you can see that I didn't know before. And now I know them when I use this app. It really helped me to learn new words and vocabulary and taught me to make plans and organize to help improve and memorize the vocab words. Plus, it's very easy and useful. I love listening and the spelling parts the most. Guessing the picture is useful as well. To conclude this video, I would like to talk about the important and how much the games can be useful for teachers and students around the world to learn and develop their vocabulary. Plus for teachers who couldn't find a tool or an eye that can grab the student's attention when they learn new words. This app will definitely help them. Plus using games for, uh, for teaching as a tool prevent boring and traditional way to teach English language and words. This video was created as one of the AN340 Computer Assisted Language Learning course requirement taught by Dr. Indisar El Sharif. Thank you all for listening. I hope you enjoy the game.